I think I'll make a real quick video showing the double pulse test. We have it set up. Um, friend Kalen helped me make a add it to the code a little bit so we can use a potentiometer to adjust the actual first on pulse time. That's the long pulse you see there. Um, what the yellow trace is is the gate <clears throat> actually on the high side. I'm doing it on the high side. Maybe I need to change it to the low side. I think you're allowed to test either side. And then the the low side's actually held off so it can't do anything. And then I have it all the power coming out, going through that inductor that's wound up for 240 microhenries. And then basically back in to the system. Um, I'm using the current sensor that's on one of my boards for my design and it's measuring 232 millivolts there you can see and that works out to about 135 amps it's uh, I'm running them with 11.9 volts into the current sensor and that gives it about 1.71 volts per um, amps per millivolt or millivolts per amp actually <clears throat> so anyways this quick little test just to show how it works got it set so you can push a button so I'm going to push this button and then you'll see it come up on the oscilloscope so you can hear a little pulse when that happens. And that's, the blue trace is measuring the current. So now I can just switch this. I have my isolation um, probe, <clears throat> differential probe hooked up to run, to watch the gates. And eventually I'll change that to watch a different section. I'll change it to watch um, the emitter versus the collector. I'll hook this probe up and then we can change the brute blue trace to a I just have to set it up properly um, it's going to now read <clears throat> the phase versus positive so it's going to read inside upside down but this should work pulse here so now when I add that it shows ringing on the off, but it's actually, I don't know if it's really there because that ringing in the gate doesn't actually show up until I hook that up. So I think it's something else. Um, could be capacitive noise or something, but looking at the transition, like this is the section you're supposed to look at. The first on time, we're not so worried about that. That's charging up the, building up the current. And then the transition off is where we're supposed to look and the transition back on again. I have actually changed my off gate resistors to two ohms, seeing if it would make this any better, and it didn't change it. This is with 207 volts applied to the system right now. So um, basically, I can just simply turn the dial, and I can turn this dial a tiny little bit right here, and that'll increase it. So I have it ready. And there, it's a little bit more. <clears throat> so for now, I'm going to stop. I want to get some feedback, and then I'm going to continue later. 